A high school sophomore is fighting for his life after getting shot while riding in a car with his friends. Tonight only on Fox 13, that boy's family talks to Sierra Jordan about what happened and that boy's long fight ahead. Miles Rice was an outside linebacker here at Central High School and had dreams to play at LSU. But three weeks ago, he was shot in the back and may not even get the chance to chase his dreams. He's a, he's a fun kid, fun loving kid. From football games to family gatherings, Kevin Phipps says he's been involved in his nephews, Miles Rice's life since he was a child. Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm a Miami Dolphin fan, so we talk football and that's what and that's what I enjoy. But I enjoy mostly seeing him out there enjoying playing the game of football. But on October 14th, those dreams were suddenly cut short. It was hurting. It was hurting to me, you know, because I look at my my houses family. Police say Rice and three other teens were at the Grizzly Mart on East Holmes Road in Whitehaven that night. Investigators say the four teens left the gas station and were heading less than a mile down the road. But a four-door Infiniti and a dark colored Chrysler 300 were following them. Police say Rice was shot in the back by someone in one of those cars. I just had all kinds of thoughts racing through my mind. I, you know, just to you know, for a child 15 years old, you know, just uh, being in this, uh, being shot. Fifth says Rice suffered injuries to his arm, shoulders, chest, lungs, and spinal cord paralyzing him. He wants the state of Tennessee to have stricter gun laws to prevent senseless shootings. Guns are dangerous, so, you know, and it's the thing that's the things that these kids do and uh, don't know what they have in their hands. I've reached out to Memphis police for an update. They say they have no suspects in custody, but the investigation continues. Now, I did speak to Miles Rice's mother today, and she did not want to do an interview. But she did say that Miles has been on a ventilator for the past three weeks, and it was just removed today. They will be transporting him to a hospital in Atlanta for better treatment. Now, the Rice family set up a GoFundMe page. We have that link on our website. Just head over to fox13memphis.com. In Midtown, Sierra Jordan, Fox 13 News.